when working in stereo mixes, AB Special Imager can really help you reshape the stereophony of any stereo recording. Because not only does it already include every single tool that any other stereo imager includes, but you can also reshape your signal, push it towards any specific angle, control its depth, control its height, even though originally stereo does not contain any depth or any height. And finally, you can apply three-dimensional rotations as everything happens in ambisonics under the hood. So the results are gonna be real three-dimensional transformations that can translate in your stereo mix and that can really enhance the listener's experience either in stereo or binaural. So I have loaded here a very basic stereo file. It sounds like this. So now before inserting a B major, let me just shorten the intro of this file so that. And now I'm going to load a B imager. So because I'm working in stereo, the upscaler doesn't really play any role here. So if you have the upscaler enabled or disabled, it won't make a difference for working in stereo. Alternatively, you can use the a B imager express, which is the same algorithm without the upscaler. So that's what I'm going to load. So as you can see, it's exactly the same plugin. It just doesn't have the upscaler. So these are all the things that you can do with AB Spatial Imager when working in stereo. First, you can control the original width of your stereo signal from mono to narrow all the way to wide. And the difference will be like this. Additionally, just like any other image controller, you can control the size of the sides and the sides of the mid. In this case, mid will be omnidirectional and the sides will be the width. So if I control the mid, and if I control the width, which is the sides, So as you can see, you can play with the spread of any ordinary stereo signal. So this will be the basic controls that you will find in any stereo imager control. Now let's explore what AB Special Imager can do further for you. So first of all, aside from controlling its size, you can also push the signal somewhere in your spatial field. As you can see, so there I combined not only the size of the width, but also I was pushing the signal all around my head. Additionally, you have also our boy algorithm, which increases the sonic size of the signal in case you want to apply spatial controls, rotation, horizontal or vertical rotation, you'll see what I mean. So first of all, with the boy control and doing nothing else, it will sound like this. So as you can see, it's as if you were increasing the richness of the sound, but what's happening under the hood is that you are increasing not only its richness, but also its spread in the three-dimensional field. So in other words, you are making a two-dimensional stereo signal effectively three-dimensional. And that way you can then go to your special control and apply rotation. So I'm just going to go to the special control and apply the rotation without any boy, and then I'm gonna do it with the boy. But let me just narrow the stereo image down a little bit so that the spatial rotation is more defined. So 
so this is another example of what true panning is all about. I am rotating the signal, putting it on my left and on my right, but it's not a hard panning where you just squeeze the signal over to the left or to the right. This is a real three-dimensional rotation that is happening under the hood. As you can hear, it sounds naturally on the left. It doesn't sound just squeezed over. And now if I increase the buoy and do my special control, I'm gonna enrich the horizontal image and also I'm going to enrich the vertical image, which doesn't exist at all in a stereo recording. And finally, with the buoy control applied on a stereo signal, because I already have sound in my height dimensional plane and in my depth dimensional plane, it means that I can already play with the height and with the depth of an ordinary stereo signal. So I'm just going to just move things around and experiment on how this behaves sonically. So as you can see, AV Special Imager not only can control the size of a stereo image, but you can really shape it towards any side. And all the results happen three-dimensionally under the hood. So what you can hear is a really binaural representation of how your signal moved around the head of the listener. If you have any questions or comments, you can write them below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.